Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at some really useful graphic user interface commands. They're going to be really easy and what they let you do is they let you control whether the buttons in the text boxes are enabled or not on your frame. What this will let you do is it lets you decide which buttons the user can pick at certain times. This allows you to basically guide the user through your program or your game because they're not always going to be allowed to click everything they want. They can only click what you allow to be clickable. So let's see how this actually works. My little sample program here is supposed to be a little window where the user picks their level that they want to play at. You can see here I've made it so it can't go higher than five and it goes down and it can't go lower than one. But all the buttons are available. Here's our little example of using the graphic user interface commands. So I'm going to go to my source code here and I'm going to go to that method that you learned about in the last video, the constructor. And you'll see here I set the level, I've set that. Now I'm going to throw in my new commands. My new commands are basically going to turn off the increase button and the decrease button. And that's how you do it. It's that easy. And you'll see here the command that I'm going to use is set enabled and you give it true or false in between the brackets. So false means it's not enabled. And yeah, this gets a little tedious here. Set enabled false. And let's just give this a run. Remembering that anything you put in the constructor, it's going to happen automatically when the frame is run. So these set enable commands, super simple, and that's what it ends up looking like. So what I want my user to do is I actually want them to hit the pick level button first. It'll turn these buttons on. And then I can hit the play button. And I'm also going to do a little bit of controlling with increase level and decreasing level as they switch. So here we go. I've already got the first half working. Those buttons aren't ready to go. I want the user to hit the pick level button. And when they hit the pick level button, I want these buttons to turn on. I'm actually going to cheat a little here. And I'm going to do a little copy paste. But when they hit the pick button, I would like to turn on all those buttons on so I'm just gonna switch these to true true and true and I'd like to turn the pick button off so set enabled false so these are nice easy lines you can use give it a test right let's not do too much work without testing our program out so I hit pick level you'll see this doesn't work hit pick level and now I'm into pick level mode where I get to start picking my level and then I can hit play. Now the other thing I want to add here is this. When I get up to level 5, I can't go any higher. And when I get to level 1, I can't go any lower. I could just leave that button available, but it would be nice in a user interface if that button just blanks itself out, right? I don't even want that available if I'm already down to 1. So let's make these little changes here. You can see here in my decrease button, I've already asked if the level's bigger than one, I'm allowed to go down one more level. That makes sense. My else statement, well, if I'm not bigger than one, it must mean I'm at one. And if I'm at one, then that means that button decrease set enabled should go to false. Okay. That one shouldn't be on anymore. Let's give that a check, going down, 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 and see if it turns itself off. Pick level, decrease. It won't let me decrease. Now I can still increase. Now you're gonna notice, ooh, you notice something. The decrease button isn't working anymore. Well, I'll leave that to you, to how you could fix that. And I'll also leave to you how you could increase the level while well, I'm at five, this button should turn off. So you'll see here now that you're controlling buttons, you have to think about, you know, when stuff happens. When I hit the play button, all the buttons should now turn off and probably actually start playing the game, right? But this starts to give you an idea that when you turn buttons on and off, it starts to control what the user can do and not do in your program. And these commands, very nice and easy. I'll also mention here that there's another command you could use and it's called set visible. 
you could use set visible instead of set enabled and you can probably guess what it does same overall effect except the button totally disappears and you'll see stuff shifted you might want to avoid the set visible for now but it does work in cases you can fiddle with it you want but some students always ask well i just want the stuff to disappear that's how you make it disappear with set visible anyways that's level changer with the set enabled command Nice, easy command for you to start using.